As a medical doctor and now Muslim, why do you think there's a dichotomy between Islam and science or religion and science? And what is your view on the gray area between? What is my view on the difference between religion and science? Science is frequently used to demonize religion, but people who don't understand science are actually following what they perceive to be science on faith. Let's say you're talking about origin of life chemistry and you have no chemistry experience, right? Then you can't evaluate anything that's being said with any degree of certainty. You just don't know. So you have to pick somebody. That's all you do is you pick either this guy or that guy. So that is faith. So people, I think, misunderstand the difference between science and faith quite a bit. Science generally is reproducible or directly observable, right? That's, it's a fact. Science is just a substitute word for a fact. Now, there's different levels of science. You can sometimes, you know, induce something or deduce something from observed facts. Like, for example, people observe that there are adaptations in organisms. So now they deduce that you go from an amphibian to a monkey because they have observed adaptations. But what they neglect to see is that these adaptations are only within a certain framework. You're not going to be on a boat your whole life and develop fins because you're on a boat. Nor are you going to be thrown into a sea and be able to swim for many years and have kids in a sea for many years, right? And even if these creatures come out of the sea on the land, guess what? They're going to be optimized for life in the sea, in the water. So although I understand why people make these statements, the fact remains that scientifically nothing has been decided. And all you're doing, if you are so sure that science points to the right direction, the science points to the absence of God, then I think that you are probably more religious than religious people are. Because even with your idea of science, big bang, you still need a miracle. You still need for nothing to explode and create the universe. There's no science that explains that. You still need for somebody to explain the prebiotic chemistry that does not work without enzymes. You still need to explain the fact that the cells work with each other and talk to each other like societies and do all these things. So it's not as cut and dry as people think it is. It can be cut and dry when you have no knowledge of science, actual science. But once you start to advance your knowledge of science, you realize there's a lot more questions than there were even 10 years ago. The more we understand about science, the more we understand how little we know. And that's a fact.